Hey friends, it's Miss Humphrey here, and today we are going to be talking about subtracting two-digit numbers without using regrouping. And today we're going to be talking about two different ways to do this. So the first way I'm going to show you is by lining your numbers up using a place value chart. And we've talked about this before, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we would do um, when we are subtracting using a place value chart. So first, we would line our numbers up by tens and ones. So in this example, you can see it's 58 minus 24 equals, and there's a question mark here. So you've got your basic place value chart with your tens and your ones, and we place the number 58 right underneath that, placing the five under the tens because the value of that five is 50, and our eight under the ones because the value of that eight is simply eight ones. And then we place our 24 in the same way, our two under the tens and our four under the ones. And now we are going to subtract our ones place. So here we have our eight and our four. We're gonna say eight minus four and the answer is four. Now it is time for us to move on to our tens place. So we always move from right to left, always, always, always from smallest to largest value of number when we are subtracting. So it says here, um, last subtract the tens place. So here under the tens column, we see that we have a five and a two. So we always move from top to bottom. So five minus two equals three. And so the answer to 58 minus 24 is 34. So let's go ahead and practice that a few times. All right, so I have some blank place value charts here. Remember, when we do this, we want to make sure that we label our place value charts. We can do that with just a basic T and an O to stand for our tens and our ones, just to remind ourselves where each number goes. And so the first equation that I'm gonna do is 54 minus 22. So I'm going to place my five for 54 under the tens column my four in the ones place. And now for the number 22, my first two for two tens in the tens place, my second two for two ones in the ones place. Now it is time for me to subtract. Remember, I start with the ones and I always go from top to bottom. So four minus two is going to equal two and five minus two, so now I've moved over to the tens place value, five minus two equals three. So the answer to 54 minus 22 is the number 32. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. Again, go ahead and label our place value chart with tens and ones. So the next problem is 36 minus 14. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 36 on the top here. Remember the three goes under our tens because the value of the number three is 30. And then our six goes underneath the ones place because the value of the number six is just six ones. And then minus 14, one, four. Okay, we have one 10 and four ones. And now we're gonna go ahead and subtract. Remember we start with our ones place value always to the right, always our furthest to the right. And we're gonna work our way from top to bottom. So six minus four equals two, and three minus one equals two. Okay, so the answer to 36 minus 14 is the number 22. All right, let's go ahead and do one more. All right, so what's the first thing that we do in this? That's right, the first thing that we do is we label our place value chart. So we remember that this is our tens column and this is our ones column. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to fill this in. So 67, where am I gonna put the six and where am I going to put the seven? That's right, I'm going to put the six under the tens because the value of six is actually 60, six tens. I'm gonna put the seven under the ones because the value of seven is just seven ones. Now the number 43, where do I put the four? That's right, it goes under our tens because the value of four is 40, or four tens. And then the three, of course, goes underneath our ones, because we have three ones. So what do I do next? That's right, I'm going to go ahead and subtract my ones. Do 
Do I do it from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom? That's right, I do it from the top to the bottom, always working my way down. So seven minus three equals four. Always remember to line your numbers up really, really well so that you remember where your number falls in your place value chart, if it's a one or if it's a 10. All right, now it's time for us to move over to which place value? That's right, it's time for us to do our tens. So six minus four equals two. All right, so the answer to 67 minus 43 equals 24. Great job, friends. So as I said, just remember, when you're doing it this way, it's very important for you to line your numbers up. When you have a chart like this, it's easier because you just have these boxes to fill in. But if you did not have a chart like this and you were doing it just on some paper, especially if you're doing it on non-lined paper like computer paper, it's really, really easy for your numbers to get out of line, like out of alignment. And then it's very difficult to remember which numbers to subtract from each other. So it's really important, again, make sure if you're doing it this way that you line it up really well. All right, the next way that we are going to practice subtracting two digit numbers without regrouping is to draw it out using base 10 blocks. Okay, we did this very same strategy when we did addition, so this should not be something new to you. So let's go ahead and practice this a little. All right, so our first equation we have is 47 minus 13. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw out the number 47 using 10 rods and one cubes. So I just use lines for my 10 rods. It's just easier for me. So I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four for 40. And now for our seven, I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, unlike in addition and subtraction, we are taking away. We are not adding. So for the number 13, we are not going to draw anything else here because that wouldn't make any sense. That would mean that we would be adding to the value that we already have, and that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to take away from what we have already drawn. So the way we're going to do that is by crossing out these 10 rods and one cubes. So for the number 13, we're taking away one 10 and three ones. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna cross out one of my 10s and I'm gonna cross out three of my ones. Now it's time for me to figure out how many I have left. Because in subtraction, remember, we are taking away and figuring out how much is left. So let's count how many 10 rods we have left. We have one, two, three, three tens. And how many ones do we have left? We have one, two, three, four. We have four ones left. So the answer to 47 minus 13 is the number 34. All right, let's try another one. The next equation is 39 minus 25. All right, so let's go ahead and draw out 39 using our base 10 blocks. So we need three 10 rods and we need nine one cubes. seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we have three tens and nine ones. Now it's time for us to look at how many we will be taking away from that number. So minus 25. So we are going to be taking away five ones and two tens. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's take away five ones, one, two, three, four, five, and let's take away two tens. One, two. All right, so what does that leave us with? Let's see. We now have one ten, and we have one, two, three, four ones. So the answer to 39 minus 25 is the number 14. 
All right, let's go ahead and do another one. Friends, you're gonna help me this time with this one. So our equation is 84 minus 41. All right, so what do I need to do first? That's right, I need to go ahead and I need to use my base 10 blocks to draw out the number 84. All right, so how many 10 rods do I need? That's right, I need eight 10 rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have eight 10 rods. How many one cubes do I need? That's right, I need four. One, two, three, four. Now friends, am I going to draw out the number 41? No, that's right, I am not going to draw out the number 41. Why not? That's right, because we are not adding 41, we are taking 41 away. So how am I going to do that? That's right, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to cross out my base 10 blocks that represent the number 41. So let me go ahead and start with my ones. How many one cubes do I need to get rid of? That's right, I just need to get rid of one because the number 41 only has one one cube in it. All right, now what about our 10 rods? How many 10 rods do I need to remove? Great job, I need to get rid of four. One, two, three, four. All right, friends, now what do I need to do? That's right, I now need to see how many I have left. So let's see, I'm gonna count my 10 rods. One, two, three, four, I have four tens left. And I'm gonna count my ones. I have one, two, three, one cubes left. So the answer to 84 minus 41 is 43. Excellent job. All right, we have one more to do. Let's go ahead and do this again. Our equation is 76 minus 33. So what do I need to do first? That's right, I need to draw out the number 76 using my 10 rods and my one cubes. So let's go ahead and do that. How many 10 rods do I need? Yep, that's right, I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many one cubes do I need? Yes, that's right, I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and the reason for that is because in the number 76, we have seven tens and six ones. Now, once again, am I going to draw any more base 10 blocks in this problem? That's right, no, I am not, because I am not adding anything to this. I am taking away from the number 76. So how much am I taking away from 76? Yes, that's right, I'm taking away 33. So let's go ahead and remove three of our one cubes, one, two, three. And let's go ahead and move over to our tens and remove three of our 10 rods. And let's count them up. Go ahead, friends, count them up. Great job, that's right. We have one, two, three, four 10 rods, and we have one, two, three one cubes. So the answer to 76 minus 33 is the number 43. Excellent job today, friends.